U.S. President Joe Biden met visiting Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida at the White House. The two leaders discussed tensions with China, North Korea and Russia and plans for deterrence in Asia with U.S. troops and missiles. Kishida is in Washington on the last stop in a tour of the G7 countries. Japan intends to bolster long-standing alliances with these visits amid rising concern in Japan about mounting regional security threats. Biden told Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida that the United States is fully, thoroughly, completely committed to Japan's defense. Biden called the meeting a remarkable moment in the U.S.-Japan alliance. He added that the two nations had never been closer. Well, Mr. Prime Minister, it's great to see you again. Welcome, uh, Babel well, welcome to such a close friend to the Oval Office again. And, uh, you know, uh, we meet at a remarkable moment in our alliance. I can honestly say, more as a student history than a participant, that uh, it's been, uh, I don't think there's ever been a time when we've been closer to Japan than the United States. Let me be crystal clear. The United States is fully, thoroughly, completely committed to the alliance. Meanwhile, Kishida thanked Biden for Washington's efforts towards regional security. He also reiterated the complex security challenges confronting both nations. Japan and the United States are currently facing the most challenging and complex security environment in recent history. In order to ensure peace and prosperity of the region and to contribute to that, also, to safeguard peace and security of Japan, late last year we formulated a new national security strategy. Shortly thereafter, the Japanese Prime Minister delivered a speech at the John Hopkins School of Advanced International Studies. In his speech, he said that China was a central challenge for both Japan and the United States. He also added that China's vision for the international order differs from the views of Japan and the United States in some ways that the Allies can never accept. A fundamental question is that China's view of the international order differs from ours, and within that there are some things that we can never accept. In our national security strategy, I have said that Japan should respond to China through comprehensive national strength and cooperation with the allies, friends and others. We need China to conform to established international rules and make a strategic choice that it cannot and will not change the international order in a way that defies them. That is a long-term effort, but in doing that, we should never accept any attempt to unilaterally change the status quo by force and should strengthen our deterrence while working with China to contribute to the peace and stability of the international community, including in the Indo-Pacific region. Meanwhile, Japanese Foreign Minister, U.S. Secretary of State signed an agreement to cooperate on space exploration. The agreement was signed at NASA headquarters in Washington, D.C., in the presence of Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida. NASA plans to have Japanese astronauts as part of the Artemis mission to the moon. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.